President Trump's decision to withhold WHO funding has upset one of the organization's most prominent supporters. Well, that's Microsoft founder Bill Gates tweeting in part, halting funding for the WHO during a world health crisis is as dangerous as it sounds. The world needs them now more than ever. Well, the truth is the group actually needs Gates more than ever. With the U.S. taking a pause, he'll now be their largest active donor. That's right, one out of every 10 bucks that the WHO gets is from the world's second wealthiest man. So should we be concerned about how much one man has maybe an outsized influence with an obviously corruptible entity such as the WHO? Joining me now is Cheryl Shumley, who is the Washington Times opinion editor, has been writing up a storm about all this. Cheryl, is all that money from Gates influencing how the WHO operates? Definitely. And thanks for having me, Laura, to talk about this issue that's really fallen under the radar. Bill Gates wields tremendous influence at the World Health Organization. And I'm not the only one saying that. Back in 2017, Politico, which, as you know, is not even considered a far right or conservative publication, Politico called him the World Health Organization doctor, that he had such influence that when he wanted a policy pushed, that the World Health Organization bureaucrats would oftentimes cave to his wishes. And it's not just funding that we need to be worried about in America. This is an unelected guy who really has no political affiliation with America. And yet he has been given a huge platform to push what I view as anti-American policies based on coronavirus figures. Yeah. And this is something that he's not going to be held accountable to by voters. Well, here's what the Gates Foundation has given to the World Health Organization and related organizations. Okay, 395 grants totaling 3.6 billion to the WHO. He pledged up to 100 million for the global response to COVID-19. He pledged 279 million to the Institute for Health Metrics and the evaluation at the University of Washington. That's that IHME uh, model that of course, initially, uh, you know, wasn't all that accurate in predicting what was going on with this virus. Uh, it's more accurate now with all the new data. And he gave 13.5 million in grants to the CDC Foundation. People think the CDC is just a, uh, an, you know, an, kind of an independent government agency, but they get money from the Gates Foundation. So it seems like Gates has his hand in pretty much everything pandemic related, Cheryl. Well, here's an interesting tie. So Bill Gates, for the longest of times, wanted to have the World Health Organization declare coronavirus a pandemic. And the World Health Organization did not want to do that. So a day after Bill Gates, through his foundation, announced an infusion of $50 million into something called the Therapeutic Accelerator to help fight coronavirus and find a vaccine. Much of that money to go toward the World Health Organization. One day after the, that announcement, the World Health Organization Secretary General came out and declared mm -hmm. coronavirus a pandemic. Unbelievable. So Cheryl, Cheryl we'll, be on, yeah, we'll be on this. And thank you for staying on this. Uh, and we've really enjoyed your pieces on this. We'll have you back.